Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import the three important financial statements when analyzing stocks. So we've got the income statement, balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. Uh, first things first, we're going to need to create our three sheets. I'm going to go ahead and name this one dashboard. Income statement. and the balance sheet. On our dashboard page, we're gonna wanna define the stock that we're actually going to look for. So let's put stock, and then I'll put price here just so we can see the current stock price. Let's format that a bit so it doesn't look as plain. Let's say, for example, we want to look at Coke, which is KO. We can pull up the price by typing in Google Finance, selecting the ticker, and then for the attribute, just put price, and that should pull the present price. And if we look at today's price of Coke, that should be equal to that. We're going to be pulling our data from stockanalysis.com. This is the only site that I've found that I can pull this data using this strategy. In our income statement, type equals import HTML. And then the URL that we're going to use is stockanalysis.com forward slash stocks. And then we're going to need to select the specific ticker. For example, if we picked KO, then at the end of this, just type in financials. The type of data we're going to pull is a table because we're trying to get the table from the financials page. Then for the index, you're going to want to put one. So it, this is just saying that it's trying to request data and allow access. All right, now that we've got this pulling in the income statement, the next thing we need to do is make this to where we can enter any stock in our dashboard page, and it's automatically going to pull that stock's income statement with this. So what we're gonna have to do to do that is to go inside of the import HTML parentheses and type in concat, and then you're gonna stop this here by putting in a quote, and then put a comma, and then instead of Apple here, we're gonna put that cell number in our other sheet for where we have the stock ticker. And then you just put a parenthesis here to add on this last financial section right here so we can make sure we're pulling the financial page. You're gonna wanna go behind your initial concat and type concat again, and then put a comma after the parenthesis, the closing parenthesis on the first concatenation. And then you're going to want to put this in quotes and then put a, an ending parenthesis on the end of that. So now it should pull Coke's income statement. And you can see that the numbers all change. So if I go and type in a different stock, for example, Apple, it is now pulling in Apple's information. But the problem here is that we're in reverse order. To flip the table, I'm going to put this formula in the description so you can just copy and paste this into your sheet. But what you're gonna do is come over here and it's gonna say transpose, opening parenthesis, sort, opening parenthesis, transpose, opening parenthesis, and then you're just gonna put your closing parenthesis here, 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 and then all right. That flips it to where 2014's here, and 2013 is all the way over here. Since this is a really weird way of seeing like the revenue year and all that information on this side, what I always do is put an equal sign and then grab the year and pull that information over here. Yes, we have this information on both sides of the table, but I like having it over here more just because it helps a lot when I'm doing VLOOKUPs using the years and also the specific item I'm looking for. So to get the cash flow statement, all we're going to do is copy this formula, go to our cash flow sheet, and we're going to paste that in there. Then you can replace this forward slash financials with forward slash financials slash cash flow statement. 
and that will pull the cash flow statement. And yet again, I'm gonna do the same thing over here where I put an equal and select the year. And then you can just drag and drop this down or you can double click that and it'll pull that information down as well. And then to get the balance sheet, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're just gonna copy that over, put it in cell B, then we're gonna replace the forward slash financials forward slash cash flow statement with forward slash financials slash balance sheet. Once you've done that, that'll pull in the balance sheet. And then yet again, I'm going to put equals the year, double click that. All right, so that was how to pull in the three main financial statements when analyzing a company. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.